Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. And as you see, the uh, weather is getting beautiful. People are coming out, having a good time at the park. Uh, it's good to see that things getting back to normal. So the uh, topic I would want to talk about today is why is God always attributed as we in all holy books, such as we are closer to man or uh, we know what man is thinking. We created mankind in our image and in our likeness. So why, why is it always referred as we, the Most High? So the reason is that is because all of this reality that you see, including you, including me, or whoever you might know, we're all an extension of the Creator. We're all an extension of the Divine Force. And we're a thought inside inside the mind of the Most High. We're a thought. If you think somebody is different from you, you're both an extension of that thought. You're not too different from each other. And once you realize that, all the hate, negativity, jealousy, envy, all those things will be removed from you because you know that the only reality is, is the most high. Everything else is an illusion. And you realize that, that all that I'm seeing right now, it's part of that dream-like thought state of the creator that we're in. And by we, it's me and you. We're a part of that extension. That's why in, um, in the book of Luke, in the Holy Bible, it says that king, kingdom of heaven is within and the Holy Quran Surah 50, it says that we are closer to mankind than his jugular vein. So we is basically me. I have that divinity within me to get myself so good in my spiritual and other endeavors that I can get closer to the creator just like anybody else out here. Even if I think that he or she is against me, they have, have been given that same power because they're, part, they're an extension of that thought form just like how I am. So we is you and me and we is what is teaching you is that it's not I, it's we. Everything is a collective. Everything is a collective. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he needed his companions to guide him through his journey, right? You had Christ. He had his uh, disciples to help him get through his journey. You had Moses, he had his disciples help him get through his journey. We all need each other. It's all one, you know, brotherhood of mankind under, you know, the extension of the Most High Creator. We are that extension of each other. So stop thinking about this is what I look like, this is what they look like, this is what I pray, this is what they pray, or this is where they're from, and I'm from here. None, all of that is an illusion. You're all a part of that thought form that's being projected into this reality. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll let, not let petty things bother you. Because you know that the Creator is experiencing this reality through me, through you, and through all of the living beings that are here. Every, all of that reality is infinite thought forms that are being experienced simultaneously. So, the sooner you realize that, the sooner you will not just love yourself, but love each other and not get mad at anybody and know that I'm walking that same path just like anybody else. So I owe that compassion and love to myself, my fellow man, and all those that come before me or to me. So again, I guess I or no, we wish you the best. We wish you the best and we love you and we hope everything goes well for you and your family as the uh, world changes into a new spiritual paradigm. My best wishes to you and yours always.